Hello and welcome. All soldering is is melting a metal called solder with a hot soldering iron. Soldering is often used to join together two electrical thingies like wires. Okay, let's do this. Okay, you're gonna start by whapping out that soldering iron. What are you doing? Oops, looks like I forgot something. Zoinks! You're gonna wanna start by putting on a pair of safety glasses. Ho ho! So as to prevent a boiling ball of metal from melting your eyes. Pro tip! It's a good idea to wash your hands before you eat food after soldering, just in case you ever work with solder that has lead in it. This doesn't have lead in it, but tuck it away. Tip! Try not to breathe in the fumes directly because bad. So Parker, would you ever date a fan? No, but I'd use one to ventilate my soldering area and blow away those noxious fumes. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Start by taking your soldering iron and cleaning the tip off on a damp sponge. This gets any residue off. You always want to start with a clean tip. Now, before you start soldering, it's always good to tin the tip of your iron. Tinning is just where you melt a little bit of solder on the tip and then gently wipe off any excess on the sponge so it gets nice and shiny. Tinning helps the tip of the iron last longer and it'll help the heat transfer to the wires that you're soldering. By the way, for this tutorial, I'm soldering together a DC motor, battery pack, and switch to make a bug bot. Ooh. Next, pick the connection that you wanna start with. So for me, I'm just gonna do this first connection between my motor wire and my battery pack wire. And what you're gonna wanna do is twist your wires together. Now, there are a couple ways of doing this. First, there's the X method, and there's the old splay and merge. That's definitely not what they call it. <laughs> or there's the old cap and hook method, uh, which I've heard makes really strong connections. So pick the method you like to use. I like the X method personally. I recommend when you solder to hold some of your components in place with the helping hands, especially the lighter ones. It really saves some work. Now look at that. We have a nice little connection ready to go. Okay, now it's time to make the first connection. So all you're gonna do is hold the tip of your soldering iron underneath the wires and press it right up against there. Then you're gonna put the solder on top of the wires. So kind of sandwich the wires between the soldering iron and the solder and give it a second. And pretty soon the solder will start to melt and spread out throughout the wires, fusing them together. It is amazing. And sometimes you're gonna have to melt a little solder on the iron first to get it started and to get the heat transferring. Pull the soldering iron away when everything's got a little coating of solder because the more solder, the more excess solder you have globbed on the connection, the weaker the connection will be, electrically speaking. Always give your soldering iron a little wipe off after each connection is made to keep it clean. Okay, and then when you're finished soldering, tin your iron once more just to help preserve the tip, wipe off any excess solder, and put her away. It's really, really important that the soldering iron's clean when you put it away so that the tip don't get crisp. All right, that's all folks. If you need any help, please dial three. And if you're from Nerdit Girls and you came from the bug bot video, then uh, go back to the, here, either click or link in the description.